When the Going Gets Tough, Podcast 4. If I was a roving reporter and traveled around the community asking the question, what do you think is the purpose of life? I'd venture that most people would say happiness. It is true. Happiness is one of the goals of life. And there are actually different levels of happiness in life. Let me share with you a thought from one of my books called Step Up to the Plate. Baseball, Judaism, and how to win the game of life. In this book, I describe relative values of happiness. Getting a single, getting on first base, is physical pleasure. Getting a double is better than a first base hit. It's called being in love. Getting a triple is even better. That's integrity, doing the right thing. Hitting a home run, now that's getting there. And that is making a mark, leaving a legacy, making a difference in life. But what about winning the game? How do you win the game of life? That's called spirituality. Having a relationship with the creator and being creative yourself. That's the highest level of pleasure. Now, hitting a single is this. There are two different aspects of hitting a single or a physical pleasure. Food and pleasurable activities. Food includes tacos, steak, good wine, cheesecake, and barbecue. Good activities are exercise, a massage, a whirlpool jacuzzi, sunbathing, and my favorite, sleeping in. These are all happiness coming from pleasure, but there is a higher value. Love, integrity, making a mark, and spirituality. How do we achieve spirituality? Spirituality is achieved in two ways. Number one, making your unique contribution to life, making a difference in life, and number two, correcting a flaw in my character. How do we know which character flaw to correct? Hashem gave a test to Avraham Avinu. The test began, Lech Lecha. Go for yourself. Go to yourself. That was the first test. The last test that God gave to Avraham also began with the words, Lech Lecha, go to yourself. The purpose of self-development is to go to yourself to discover who you are. When God challenges us, when God challenged Avraham Avinu, Abraham, he wasn't mad at Abraham. He loved Avraham Avinu. He was his, Behold Beisi Ne'amanhu. He was his beloved child who believed in God, who brought emuna and faith to the world, and chesed to the world. So why would God test Abraham so greatly? Because God was not punishing Abraham by testing him. He was testing him and prodding him and guiding him and encouraging him and pushing him to grow, to become the best Avram Avinu, Av Hamon Goyim, the father of the nations of the world that he could be. He was not testing Abraham to break him. He was causing him to become to become himself, to become the best he could be. What were those 10 tests? He had to leave his homeland, number one. Number two, he came to Israel, to Canaan, and found a famine in the land. Number three, his wife, Sarah, was kidnapped by Pharaoh. Four, he had to fight a war to capture Lot, to recapture Lot, who was kidnapped. Number five, he was childless. Number six, his wife, Sarah, was kidnapped by Avimelech. Number seven, he was circumcised himself at the age of 99. Number eight, to banish Hagar. Number nine, to banish Yishmael. And number 10, Akedas Yitzchak, to sacrifice his son Isaac. The Nesiva Shalom tells us that each of us are the children of Abraham. We are the children, B'nai Avraham Avinu, Avinu our father, and therefore each of us also goes through 10 tests in life. 
the 10 tests are not tests of how much pleasure we can have. The 10 tests are 10 tests of emuna and faith. When we're tested, when the going gets tough, our job in life is to access our inner strength, choose to develop ourselves, not to be angry with God, but to work with God in partnership to develop ourselves. When God created Adam, he said, Na'ase Adam, let us make man. Who was God speaking to? One of my teachers and mentors, Rabbi Dr. Abraham Tversky says, Na'ase Adam, God said, let us make man. God was speaking to Abraham, to Adam, and said, let us, me and you, Adam, let's make you. God was saying, Adam, Naase, me and you, me, God, and Adam, together, we'll make you, we'll work together in partnership to make you. How do you make yourself? How do you become Adam? The letters of Adam spell me'od, very. Become very, bigger. Become a bigger person. That's the purpose of becoming. That's the purpose of the tests of Avraham Avinu. And when we go through tests, let's become. Let's not be angry about being broken. We're not being punished. We're being forced to become who we're supposed to be.